But first, thanks to support from the Illinois Department of Public Health, Chicago Theater Company Collabor Action is exploring the impact of oral history with one story at a time. Arts correspondent Angel Ito introduces us to its newest project, Family Tree Stories, and how it's working to unite the city through storytelling. What is a story? A story is, a, is an artistic form of a life. And we believe that by sharing our stories with each other, we, we share our lives with each other. It's a new project by Collabor Action, Chicago's theater for social change entitled Family Tree Stories. Located on its website, the video series features oral histories from a number of Chicago storytellers. The hope is to not only honor family histories, but use the strength of storytelling as a way to connect one another. We become informed of the past through the telling of stories. Loretta Firekeeper Hawkins is a member of one of the 15 featured families. Her stories, which she shared in the form of spoken word, were the same stories she'd heard growing up from her mother. Red bone, tan, or ebony. If your old folks come from Africa, we be family. Priya Shaya says the stories her mother shared with her growing up have formed her identity. What I spoke about was, you know, I have Indian heritage, but my mom actually grew up in Africa um, and, you know, living um, in East Africa under colonial British rule. Um, and so the things that you understand, you know, about how cultures really intersect and how that really flows together and a lot of my mom's roots is still very much African, right? She considers herself Ugandan and, you know, more than considering herself Indian sometimes because that's where she grew up and that was the culture that she came through. And it, the storytelling around it is powerful enough that it even makes me feel that I am more connected to Africa as well as being Indian. With the help of a map of the city, people can search key words or certain neighborhoods as a way to visualize how the stories and the experiences are connected. These things and habits of human behavior really are repetitive. And so if we look back um, about like what has happened before us, we can see that we can do them again if we don't understand um, the implications of our behaviors. We cultivate stories that, you know, that gives us insight into what it means to belong to each other and, and all the forces that are there pulling us apart. And our issue is, you know, can we understand the systems that pull us apart well enough to navigate ourselves back towards one another and find each other, find each other in dialogue? When we share our lives with each other, especially the things that we have overcome or that have hurt us deeply, um, we, we make ourselves vulnerable to one another and we actually make ourselves um, able to change um, both ourselves and each other. And what better way to learn and grow than to do that with a, a community of people. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ito. And the next phase of the Family Tree Stories project requires input from you. The public will soon be able to upload and submit their own video recordings to be included in the Family Tree Library.